Excuse me a moment. Ah, now, this is probably another performer for the pantomime. Ah, no! Oh, my... It's Ernie from the pet shop. You know the one who always thinks he's a great impressionist? And he's absolutely useless. Don't... Stay where you are. Stay where you are. I'll get rid of him. Hello? <laughs> And this is my cat. <laughs> Trixie, I feel a song coming on. <laughs> you know my hand up. You give me all the time. You do something more Christmassy. Well, I could stick some uh, stuffing up, you know. Yeah, yeah, all right. Okay, <laughs> sing a song in that case. Do a song. Johnny Mathis. I am dreaming of a white Christmas, just like the ones I used to know, where the tree tops. Listen, all a tea was story. Children listen to hear sleigh bells in the snow. It's death. I'm dreaming of a fine Christmas with every Christmas card I write. Betty said I'm gonna go with a pantomime. And me, oh, your Christmas is be white. All right, all right, there you are. I told you. Useless. Who are you supposed to be? Well, uh, Mr. Edmonds, I'm Dick Whittington. Oh, that's great. You're in the wrong pantomime. We're doing Cinderella. Well, how many dwarfs are there in Cinderella? Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> yes, that's very kind of you. Dick Whittington's meant to have a cat. That is a dog. Well, it is, but he does a very good impression <laughs> of a cat. And, in fact, he does one of his finest impressions, which is that, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Pavarotti. 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 <laughs> and uh, Maison Dormat. Ma Maison Dormat. <laughs> <laughs> La